Ah, another rabbit. Did we already get all the rabbits? No, no, we need the. We need one more. I thought I thought we got three. For a second there, I was like, did I did I finish that challenge without realizing it? We came over here because I know for a fact that there is desert sage. So now we have all three that we need for flowers of the lady. Flowers for a lady. But we're going to go ahead and keep searching around here so we can go ahead and just get that challenge done. Now, I know I said we weren't focusing on challenges. But since this is kind of like falls in line with both of those, it's like might as well just get it done at the same time. You know, two birds, one stone. I know there's usually a chest around here, but this is one of those, like, special locations you can find and add to the map. We will be buying the maps to reveal all locations to count for that 100%, because, I mean, like, what else are we going to use money for, right? So, we'll just do that. What's going on over here? Hello, sir. Um, what? What do you? Are those? Are you out of your mind? Thank you for saving me. Now, could you please help me out of there? Yeah, yeah, of course, lady. For a second there, I thought it was a. Uh, I thought it was the herbalist. Jobs in town pay twice as much, which that is a good thing. So if you get, if you don't have a lot of honor just yet, all right, you're gonna want into want to get enough honor until that because that will make bounty missions pay twice as much. So instead of getting forty dollars for taking a bounty alive, you get eighty. Instead of getting a uh, sixty, you get a hundred and twenty, and then every single one. So you can make a lot of money if you're going if we're gonna use bounty hunter missions. To kind of make that money. Man, it's not very often I come across this random event. They really went detailed with some of this stuff. This is a scary thought, but there'd be cannibals and stuff. So let's open this chest. We might get like a special item or something like that. $53? Pretty nice. That pretty much gives me all the money back for uh, buying the, the armadillo apartment. Some wild fever few. I don't really need that. An apple. Okay, we can feed that to our horse. I won't really, um, try to pick plants unless I need them for the challenge. There is a scrap, I believe, for this one that you need to get, like, $200 worth of herbs. But by the time I plan on using that, or by the time that you would even be able to complete the outfit, you would need to be in the area where herbs are most the most expensive in value. So you just kind of want to wait till then either to kind of lessen the time. We got our fourth desert sage. So we just got two more to go. I think I saw a rabbit. Oh, it's an armadillo. Yeah, I won't kill it just yet. I think we have to get one later for the challenge, which this is where you usually come to get them anyway. Um, yeah. So yeah, you just want to hold off on that. Of course, you can always pick herbs and sell them if you just want some extra money anyway, and stuff like that. It's a good source of making money. It's not hard to make money in this game, whether you want to do bounty missions or just do regular things. There's so many ways to make money in this game. And here's our final rabbit, ladies and gentlemen. Get this desert sage. We just need one more. It shouldn't be hard to find if we just kind of like travel around looking for it. Kill five coyotes before any coyotes damage you. Pretty simple. 
If you try to do that in conjunction with the Master Hunter quest, it's a pretty good idea. But co coyotes spawn very commonly. Like, a lot. So, you should be fine. Of course, if you want to take the RDR2 route, you can make it to where an animal only spawns when you need... Only spawns when you don't need them. I got a little bit of a love-hate relationship with the hunting system in RDR2. Mostly because it seems like when I need an animal, it doesn't want to spawn. Unlike here, where, since it's night, a million of them spawn. Looks like there was only four... Well, that was strange. Uh, regardless, more money. Come on, let's get this over with. That should have counted as five. Maybe it's like a time thing. There actually is a trick to make them um, skinning faster. If you put your uh, horse over the animal body. It will skip the animation entirely. So you don't have to watch this a million times. But I really don't mind it. It's only like, what, a couple seconds? If I'm really in a hurry, then I'll go ahead and do it. Oh, it probably was an armadillo. Tough one, ain't you? Or a raccoon. I'm afraid you're mine. This is nasty. Lucky for us, our NPC, our, not our NPC, our main character never has to sleep, ever. Technically speaking. This will fetch a good price. If I end up do killing animals, even though I don't need to. Oh, that was close. Guys, that was close. Like, I actually almost had to restart the challenge there. That would have been very annoying, but hey. Uh, what were you eating? Whatever, man. Just more just more money for us to sell those ki coyote meats and furs. I, I killed more than I needed to, but I'll skin them just to make it, like, worth it, you know? Even though this is just a game, I'll try to hold to the principle of, like, you know, waste not. This is dirty. In fact, I still love the fact that, um, this game will, uh, you get an achievement for literally killing every single buffalo in the game. They made buffalo... If you're wondering why I'm stopping. It's because I thought I, I saw antlers on that, that bunny. That is a that is a scrap for an outfit. If you're able to get lucky and see a bunny with antlers. I can't remember what it's called. But uh Yeah, they added that in the game for a costume. What was I saying? Oh yeah. That they literally made it to where instead of buffaloes respawning, like they have an infinite population in the game, as most animals do because it's game, they decided to make it to where the buffalo will actually like decrease in population. So if you kill one, that's a minus one from the amount of buffalo you can find in the game forever from that point. So say so if there's like 20 buffalo, if you kill 20 buffalo, buffalo will never spawn ever again. And I think that is just a, a excellent, huh. Somebody must have got murdered down here. That was random. So, like, you get an achievement for, like, extinction. Which is actually an often problem facing buffalo. Like, 
they're not fully extinct, I don't think. No, 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 they're not. I, I don't know much about that. But the point being is, the point is, like they're saying, is like they were hunted to near extinction. They're not extinct, are they? Like, I'm pretty sure. Like, I, that might need a quick Google search to make sure I'm not just flat out incorrect. Please tell me in the comments below if they are or not, because, like, I honestly don't know. I don't think they are. No, 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 they're not. I must be sounding really stupid right now if they if they aren't, and I'm not sure. We, we got our last desert sage, so that means we can start looking for red sage. Five, five flying birds from a moving train. All right, that, that may need to be a little bit later because you can get a bounty for that sort of thing, and that's always kind of annoying. So we'll kind of have to plan accordingly. Which is a nuisance. Oh, cool. We've earned the complete trust of our mount. That's a plus. That is a... All right, from me. Come on, easy up there. Red sage is often found in this area. There we go. Mostly in the Rio Bravo. This is more like on the edge of Rio Bravo. And the desert area where you would find desert sage a lot. But I know I know there are guaranteed spots here that I just remember from my time playing always. And it's just easy to remember. So I always come here. There's like three to four I think you can get around here. I think. Aha. See, like we already have the three that we need for flowers for a lady. So now we just need three more for the challenge. And then we can start heading that way. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, sure. Yeah, I can totally help a lady. I totally don't see the Waltons right behind you. Preparing for an attack. And we also got an update to the Walton Gang outfit. I'm not going to kill you. You're obviously just being used by them. Who cares? Yeah, go on. Get out of here. I will loot your buddies, though. She gave me the money and ran off. Fine by me. We'll loot them for any extra cash and ammo and that sort of thing. It's like, can you help me? All your buddies are in plain view. We need those events to happen, though, because they help us get outfits. And they're fairly common in certain areas. Like, you will eventually come across them. The game's designed to intentionally give you those things pretty commonly. Hell, hell, even in Red Dead Redemption 2, events are pretty common in certain areas if you know the map and know how they trigger well enough. Like, I can probably tell you a couple of locations when playing Red Dead Redemption 2 of the likelihood of places spawning. Cool, we got another uh, storied campsite. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the TV so I can actually hear what they're saying. New fly machines. I mean, you think that the normal man, you and me, would ever get near one of those. They are going to be used by the federal government to monitor us and bend us to their will. Oh, really? Second I see one of them improbable monstrosities coming through the air, I'm going to live in a cave, I am. I cannot believe it. I think we've talked too much already. <coughs> Still not sure what they were saying, even though I turned up the TV. But I'm, I'll probably let, hear it later when I'm editing this video and be like, oh, man, that's such a good story. Or oh, it's related to Red Dead Revolver. And I'll probably talk about it in a later video. I did turn up the volume to see if I could hear it. 
And if you could hear a little echo, I'm sorry about that. That That's more for me, so I can actually enjoy some of the, the things. I will be investing in some ear earbuds that I can actually plug into my 360 controller. So that I can actually enjoy the story. Is there another campsite over there? No, that just, that just looks like a stray horse. Yeah, it's just a stray horse. Alright, we have our fourth red sage, I think. Oh, no, that was our... That's our six. Where, where did I pick up... Where did I pick up the other two? Ooh, herbalist challenge. I could have used you earlier. Alright, now the trick to this is to accept, pause it, see where they are. Looks like the closest one is there and there, so we're going to run right behind us and get a head start. So by the time that he catches up, because he goes to the closest one as well, so he can win the race, essentially. We're going to run over here to the next closest one, or at least I believe it is. Usually you can tell if you made the right choice if he falls after you, which he is here, so... They're designed to practically go to whichever one is closest in terms of angle. I've noticed that. So if you pick the wrong one, you might lose. Unless you get on your horse, that is. If you're looking to challenge yourself for some reason. But this one is fairly easy to win. I kind of wish they had you pick more in the later game. I th they might do that. I can't remember exactly. So I could be wrong about that. But these are pretty simple and easy. And if you're looking for the plants like I was, it can probably show you where some of them are closer. But you also do run into it that if you pick the plant that is closest to his camp beforehand, you kind of screw yourself over. Because you can't pick it again. So he's able to pick it, and it counts towards him, but not you. So you end up losing if you don't use your horse. Come on. <laughs> we, so let's check. Journal, survivalist, eight prickly pears, and addition I already have. They're found in P Punta Orgulo, which is in the next district, the next area, which we can't get to. So we are done with survivalist challenges right now. We also have kill five flying birds from moving train. Um, I might do that right now, just get it out of the way, because that always, that can lead to a bounty on your head, which is really annoying, but it is what it is. We haven't really encountered any wolves yet. I know where we can at night, so next time it's night, I'll go by there. And I'm going to hold off on the treasure hunter stuff just, just for now. I don't want to get the gold bars just yet. I might actually wait till we get the treasure hunter outfit just to, to role play a bit, you know. But it is what it is. Ooh, we got ourselves another story time camp. Let's hear what they got for us this time. Been a terrible gang tearing up armadillo. Lawman trying to take him down for years. Now here tell Marshal Johnson had a fellow with him that was an uncanny marksman. They took down the Walton's gang. And they hit him with several shots and it didn't even phase him. All I know is I don't want to cross that fella. Or ever come across. So we ain't long for this world, that's for sure. It looks like they're done. I still can't hear what they gotta say though. That's quite a tale. God bless. You gotta go. <laughs> I, I feel so left out. Like, everyone gets to hear the story but me. I just want to feel included, guys. That's it. Let's go. Billy. Oh, thank you. 
Not many around these parts that help an old man with such a task. Thanks again, stranger. Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. I'm sure she'd love the company. All right, maybe just for a minute. This is my other half, lovely Annabelle. <clears throat> Much obliged. This is a man helped me find these lovely flowers, Annabelle. Not half as lovely as you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you don't look a day over 30, ma'am. Wait, it's a fine air and the good living up here in New Austin that keeps us so young and full of vigor. Annabelle was mentioning she wants to go up to Blackwater, ride one of those newfangled motor cars. You know? No bumpy old horse carriage for my angel. <laughs> That's a good idea, Billy. I should get going. Well, you haven't had your tea. And, and, and Annabelle baked her special blackbird pie. Yeah, I'm sorry, Billy. I must have forgot. I've got an appointment with Planet Earth. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Farewell, John. Stop by any time. Oh, we play bridge on Thursdays. Ah, uh, still one of the funniest side stranger missions. You got to see a lonely old woman and a lonely old man and how they deal with their their pain. So sad. <laughs> 